What is your boyfriend doing to help you in your side hustle? Like the first thing you guys should be doing at your age, if you guys are on your grind, the grind is the after hours, not the day hours. The day hours is the warm up. The after hours is the grind. So I would argue that you guys are not on your grind. You guys are just working jobs. So we had a girl with us yesterday that was, I think a lot of like younger people don't really understand how the dynamic of their marriage should work out because their parents maybe didn't have the time to teach them or, you know, whatever. But a lot of people don't stop and think about like, what do I want in my, the dynamic of my marriage or the dynamic of my relationship? And they kind of flounder through the first 10 years of their relationships until they figure out like what they don't want. And then they just kind of finally lose their mind and go, I, I can't do this anymore. So I had this conversation with uh, this girl, Kelly, and I said, understanding your personality just for the last 15 minutes, it doesn't seem like you really want to be doing what you're doing. And she's like, wow, you picked up on that. I'm like, yeah, it sounds like you want to be a, a stay at home mom. I go, let me guess, you feel like because of the world that we live in, people are demoralizing what it means to be a stay at home mom and they're making women feel like they gotta be out in the workforce crushing it and being the breadwinner and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, yeah, that's right. And I go, look, the greatest gift that God gave all of us is mothers. So like, why are you not spending every day with your son if you possibly can? And she's like, well, because I, I wanna support my husband. I'm like, the best way you to, you to, for you to support your husband is to tell his ass to go make more money. That's it. I'm sorry, but if you are a man and you are forcing your wife to work, that is a you problem, not a her problem. I'm talking from a traditional relationship. Obviously, there's other people who have different dynamics, but if you have a dynamic like I do with my marriage, then the husband's job is to tell the wife, you go, go do whatever the hell you wanna do. If you wanna work, then work. If you wanna be a full-time mom, amazing. Everybody's a little bit different, right? But my wife, Laura, all she wants to do is be full-time mom while she has the opportunity. And at one point, she'll decide to get back into the workforce. So what I told Kelly is that she's like, but the problem is I'm trying to do the best I can to support him and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, it's actually meant to be the other way around. He's supposed, supposed to f support you financially and you're supposed, supposed to take care of the kids and mothering and the nurturing. And some people disagree with me, but this made her cry to the point where she was just like, you're so right. This, I just, nobody ever articulated it in this way that I resonated with what should I do? And I go, you should get a job that actually allows you to work from home. And then that way you can be with your kids instead of being forced to be at an office 10 hours a day, which is where she's at, on a fully commissioned job as a real estate agent. Her real estate agent job requires her to be at the office basically eight hours, 10 hours a day. And I'm like, this is not really helping you or your husband or your child. So I said, I'll give you an opportunity to work four hours a day for my team learn how to be a transaction coordinator. Nobody learns real estate better than a transaction coordinator. I can tell you that right now. Like you learn everything about real estate. You learn what a note is, a deed of trust, who the lenders are, who the borrowers are. You learn who the buyers are. You learn who the buyers aren't, the people who fake like they're the buyers. You learn the best title companies and escrow officers. You learn some of the most important key elements of real estate by being a transaction coordinator. So maybe what we'll do is we'll stitch the video of me talking to Kelly specifically about her situation to the end of this video so you guys can actually get some value today. See ya. You wanna get into real estate? You wanna be a business owner? Stop hanging out with guys that are going to the gym and that's all they wanna do all day long. Find out guys that are going to the gym and running successful businesses. Then you're gonna succeed. It sounds stupid and it's hard because people are like, well, where do I find those people? Well, I, that's what I did. I created a community of people that are doing that. But for you, like my free Facebook group, who's your best friend here that you've made? If you have to think about it, that means you've failed. Like when you go home and you're hanging out with your boyfriend, what is your boyfriend doing to help you in your side hustle? Like the first thing you guys should be doing at your age, if you guys are on your grind, the grind is the after hours, not the day hours. The day hours is the warm up. The after hours is the grind. So I would argue that you guys are not on your grind. You guys are just working jobs. When you come home with your boyfriend, are you and your boyfriend going, all right, let's do this together. Let's go meet other couples that are making money in real estate or doing this or that. Or are your friends just friends that you've always had for the last 10 years? We don't hang out with our friends. This is a problem. So people that are like, I wanna spend time with you, I'm like, why? I built something that is so special. Now I get it, like I have some insight and some of this is just me ranting. That truly is it. Everybody you meet today, and you talk to, we'll go, oh yeah, it was Pace's community. It was Pace's community, it was Pace's community. I met this person that filled in the gap. They took me on an appointment. They filled out the paperwork for me. They did the this, they did the that. Now, did I go find those people? No, 
I created them. I found people like Scott Garcia, Debbie Liu, Ingrid Hernandez, all these amazing people. And I train them on how to do the things. That's what I do in my training. I train them live. How do you do these things? I bring in my attorneys. I bring in my infinite banking guy. I bring in my escrow officer, my closing attorney, my head of ops. I bring everybody in and you're constantly trained every single week on new things all the time. People get created and they turn it, they find, oh my gosh, I could be this person. So Kevin Cho, a 22 year old kid who will make $600,000 this year, who I had to beg him to move out of his parents' house two years ago, is the guy that helped Eric get his first deal. People are like, what's community? That's community. I didn't just know somebody, I know somebody that has the missing link that I need to get the deal done. And more important, keep me encouraged, inspired, and excited to show up every day because sometimes you go to the gym and you don't want to go to the gym, right? It's usually like early in the morning, you're like, dude, I could come up with a thousand reasons why I shouldn't go to the gym. Oh yeah, there was a point. Yeah, I think we all have growing pains and you know, you hit that point with you know the fitness side. It's like some days you just don't show up because you got nothing. You right. just don't care that day. But eventually, you know, you start realizing, okay, every time I do go, my day's better. So I could not go. And you feel better. Yep, and have my day be worse, or I can go and just, you know, and get through it and, and have a better day. So it's just changing your mindset of being like, this is a non-negotiable, and that's what's happened for me. So that's the same thing with me, is you will see whether you hang out with me all day long or not, Kelly, I won't stop until nine o'clock at night. And the only reason I stop is because everybody else tires out. I mean, Eric's been with me for two years, He's the only guy that I know that can keep up with me. And we'll go sometimes 16 hours a day, and the next day, 16 hours a day, and the next day, 16 hours a day, and the next, on the fourth day, I go, man, I feel lazy. And it's the same thing with you. When you're working out and you're getting a lot of momentum, you're like, gosh, I could be working harder. I could be doing this. I could be eating better. I could be doing this better. When somebody quits their job because they want to focus, I go, you went down the wrong path because you wanted to avoid pain. And when you avoid pain, you avoid growth. I've done this too. Part of the reason people don't get married is finances. And also I haven't personally developed enough to be, my mindset is I haven't committed to another human being. There's a lot of that going on in your world and that's perfectly fine. That takes a while sometimes. But the biggest thing is finances. We're not ready, we need to make more money, da 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 da. Okay, great. You have put an undue burden on your boyfriend and that's not a fun feeling for you now i also if you guys were married i would tell that guy why does she even have to work at all is your undying passion every day kind of like what my wife is which is my wife is like she's an unbelievable real estate agent she knows more about real estate than anybody i know she wants to be in her zone as a mom for the next 15 years. As a man, I would step up and say, I don't want you working, I want you being with our kid. Think about this for just a second. You chose the hard of not being around your son every day so you could avoid the hard of grinding at nighttime. Being a full-time mom is more work than I've ever done in my life. The challenge with a lot of women nowadays, and I see this on Instagram, I'm sure you see it too, is that all these women are trying to be men. They're trying to, you know, it's the feminist movement and great, good for them. But what you're doing is you're demoralizing women who actually bring so much to the table by being mothers so that a lot of women nowadays go, well, being a mom's not enough because I should be this alpha person making all this money. You know Elena Cardone and Grant Cardone? Okay, so I'm, fr I'm friends with them. Elena says something that's really cool. She says, the most important part of a house are the support beams because they have to be stronger than the house itself. And what you're attempting to do when you go out and you get a job and you go create a career and everything else is you're trying to be the house when what the house really needs is a, sp a support mechanism. You are a support mechanism. You are not a, you're not a warrior. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? It's an amazing thing. What could you do to go make money? In real estate, working from home immediately. Transaction coordination. I don't want you to buy this because I have a, a transaction coordination mentorship with Molly. Molly trains all of the women in my community how to be transaction coordinators and how to go out and start making money. Hello? What up? I've got to ask you a, a favor. I've got a new girl I want to hire part-time. Uh-huh. And I want you to train her on transaction coordination. Can you do that for me? Sure. Her name's Kelly. Are you doing the training or is Shelly doing the training? I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna introduce you and Kelly together, okay? Okay. She'll, yeah. she'll just be part-time for a couple months until she decides she wants to keep doing it or do something else. Okay, so is she how is she going to get paid? Are you going to have her on like payroll or something? Or? Yeah, I'll put her on my personal payroll for a couple months. Okay. All right. Then we'll see you tonight. Okay. See you. Bye. Okay. So here, here's what I'm going to do for you. Cause I do this all the time. 
Okay, this, you're not one person I've done this for. I've done this for a lot of people. So you can make an extra couple thousand dollars a month. And then after being a TC underneath my team for a couple months, you can make a decision of like, hey, do I wanna work for these guys full time? Do I wanna bet on these guys full time and I'll take you to a full time seller? And what you can do is work from home and you can be with your baby. And what's happening a lot of times is women in your role, you are the most powerful person in your relationship, but you're not doing your job. And you're basically waiting for your boyfriend to wake up. And guess what, that's awesome. That's really freaking cool. A lot of other women would have just been like, this guy hasn't figured it out, I'm gone. So kudos to you, that's awesome. And you're being patient with him because men need patience, they need nurturing, they need love, they need all that kind of stuff. So you're doing the right thing. But I would just say put some bumpers on him a little bit and try and guide him a little bit in your own way. But let's get you home being with your baby and learn something that you can do, right?